what's going on everybody i'm kevin cheap guitar and today we're going to talk about a few things i'm going to show you how to work on your rhythm using your right hand picking technique strumming technique i mean and we're all go also going to work on um, some chords and changing them from one chord to another um, and you can make a nice little groove out of it So, with my right hand, I'm gonna use this camera a little bit so you can see what I'm saying. What we wanna do is just practice doing this. And what I'm doing right here is down, down, up, down, down, up, down. what we want to practice go slow um, if you're just starting off you want to do this nice and slow get a metronome and play along with it and you're gonna mute the strings with your left hand you're just gonna hold them you don't want to press down on it but just hold the strings down down up down down up down that so now what we're going to do let's put a chord let's put a chord with that let's go it's a minor seven chord if you're tuned in standard tuning this would be F but I'm tuned in E flat so my F is right here. So it's E to me. So it's E to me, but if you're tuned in standard tuning, this will be F for you. So we're gonna play an F minus seven. And if you don't know how to play an F minus seven, you want a bar this fret which is the eighth fret press down on all the strings except this sixth string so the fifth fourth third second and first string you want to press down now what we're going to do is put our middle finger on the second string on the ninth fret then we're going to press down and strum all these together. And that's what it'll sound like. And if you're getting a buzzing sound like that, that means you're not pressing down hard enough or your finger isn't in the middle of the fret. So we have this so far. Bar on the eighth fret. Then we're going to put our middle finger on the second string on the ninth fret. Now we're going to put one more finger and it's going to be the ring finger and we're going to put it on the fourth string on the um, tenth fret. And that's the minor seven chord. So let's practice that strumming pattern using the minor seven chord. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So we got that. All right, if we got that gonna add another finger to change this chord up so now what we're going to do is we're going to play this chord but now we're going to change it and we're going to put our pinky finger on the 11th fret 
on the second string. So we have this chord. <laughs> same chord because now this where the pinky finger is on the 11th fret is taking the place of where your little finger will play so let's practice that strumming pattern with the pinky finger <laughs> finger off and take the ring finger off and we're back to that and we're gonna practice the um, strumming pattern with this chord now we got one more chord so we're gonna go uh, two frets back to the left one two and we're going to play this chord <laughs> string on the eighth fret we're gonna move the ring finger up to the fifth string on that same fret and we're gonna start that chord on that note on the um ring finger see the difference this is major seven and this is this chord the strumming pattern using this chord down down up down down up down <laughs> play it at the tempo and I want you to comment if you know the song all right first chord See how you can take just that one chord, this minor seven chord, add one note, which is that pinky finger, then take off the ring and pinky finger and leave the middle finger down, and then back to this chord, which is just a major seven. If you want to play a major seven chord, just move that ring finger up one string. Do it slow. So that's 
that's a little progression from that song that you can work on your right hand technique with, with strumming. And if you want to just stay there and do that for a while, you can do that. This chord, minus, minus seven, then adding the pinky, then taking the pinky and ring off. And we just gonna stay there, okay? slow this first time. And you hear how I'm being rhythmic with my right hand technique. Another thing you can practice, just playing the strumming pattern without playing the chords. Watch this. Now with the chords. a lesson on your rhythm technique the strumming technique using your right hand and you get to learn uh, some cool chord movements minor seven adding that pinky on taking the pinky and ring off so that's a chord progression that you can practice Just play it around and do some stuff. Move it down two more frets. Ain't that cool how you can just move the chords down? That's my lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content coming soon.